On board, my fellow cosmic travelers, let's rewind the cosmic clock to our childhood, where imagination knew no bounds. It's a place where cardboard boxes transformed into spaceships, and our living rooms became uncharted galaxies. In our early years, we were intrepid explorers, fueled by boundless curiosity about the unknown. The questions we proposed as children had no simple answers like what's beyond the stars or how does the universe end. We asked equally clueless adults, motivated by an insatiable curiosity about the unknown. I remember nights when my dad would take me outside to gaze up at the stars. I would lie on the grass, feel the earth beneath me, and stare up at the endless void that is the night sky. In those moments. I almost felt like an astronaut, a cosmic traveler, traveling through the universe's farthest reaches with a partner who would not just endure but encourage my questions, no matter how peculiar or unanswerable they seemed. It was in those moments that I realized the power of my imagination. It wasn't just about pretending; it was about expanding my mind and envisioning the limitless possibilities that lay beyond our world. My curiosity was like rocket fuel, propelling me toward a future in which I had the opportunity to explore the answers to my questions. However, I've noticed that as we grow older, many of us abandon those dreams and passions. We face the harsh reality of life, the heavy burden of societal expectations, and the constant pressure of becoming an adult. Our dreams of becoming astronauts and similar juvenile aspirations often fade away like the distant stars in a dust-ridden metropolitan night sky. It wasn't that long ago that I myself stood at the precipice of abandoning my childhood dream. The sheer burdens of society and the responsibilities that came with age all seemed to conspire against what I dreamt of. I asked myself a question: Was it finally time to let go? However, something miraculous happened. I attended a lecture by a renowned astrophysicist and engineer who spoke about the wonders of space and how, as a student in today's society, one can incorporate their childhood dreams into something more widely accepted. In that moment, my childhood dreams resurfaced, more vivid and powerful than ever before. I realized that it was never too late to pursue what truly ignites my soul. Fueled by his lecture, I rekindled my passion for space and found a way to pursue it with the subject I had chosen, computer science. In a way that I have not yet achieved something very miraculous to tell you about, I can tell you one thing: that the feeling of being in sync with one's true calling was worth more than anything a typical societal acceptance could ever give me. In a world that often asks us to comply, submit, and choose the safer path. It is so easy to let go of our dreams. We are so often told that dreams are for the idealistic, for the foolish, for the naive. But aren't dreams the very essence of humanity? Think about all the dreamers who came before us, those who had the might to imagine the unimaginable. Galileo, for one, turned his telescope to the night sky and forever changed our understanding of how the solar system operates. Einstein, he visualized the fabric of space-time itself. And propelled us generations into the future, but how can we, in a society that demeans and disregards any unconventional profession, inspire young dreamers to reach for the stars? We need to ensure that we pass on the torch of curiosity, imagination, and ambition to children today. Let's create a society where questions are entertained rather than disregarded, where imagination is cherished, not ignored, where dreams are nurtured. Not cast aside.